It's also in honor of a great student we had, TJ Tomini, at our school. And we're going to let his brother Patrick say a few words before we get off today. So, Patrick. All right, as he said, I'm Patrick Tomini. I'm uh, TJ Tomini's younger brother. And let me just say, wow, what a blessing this event truly is. Uh, I really feel like this event really embodies everything Legacy stands for as to leaving a legacy through something like this and through something like the TJ Tomini Fighting Heart Award. It's really a blessing to our family to see him and his legacy continue to live on in things like this. And wow, it's, it's truly amazing. Uh, I've been at Legacy since the beginning and Wow, those were some really humble beginnings. Uh, we go from an initial graduating class of two with one junior in tiny little Frisco Bible Church to a graduating class of about 50 this year in the amazing high school facilities we have. We go from playing basketball on a rubber floor, basically, that doubled as a sanctuary to, as you've seen, our amazing facilities now. We go from playing six-man football in a local park basically playing whoever whoever will play us to competing for the state championship two years ago and you know our amazing turf facilities and everything so god has just blessed this school unbelievably uh so as i said i've been at this school since the beginning and uh spot one year basically and i don't like to admit this because i like to say oh i've been at legacy forever but in second grade i our family left to go to Coram Deo. Now, I don't have anything against Coram Deo. Coram Deo is a great school and everything. But around that time that we went to Coram Deo, it was the same time that my brother got sick. So his only wish was to return home. And to him, home was always legacy. And thank God that we came back. Because the amount of support and the amount of love that was shared to us in the midst of his sickness is just an unbelievable testament to the love of Christ really embodied in individuals. I mean, we still have boxes full of cards, gifts, just unbelievable stuff in the midst of what he was going through. And of course, the prayers are going to be there forever. And so when he passed away in 2005, you'd expect like some of that to maybe decline a little bit just because the idea of death sometimes just kind of freaks some people out. They're like, they might back off and think, oh, I'm just going to leave them on their own. But amazingly, the support just amplified unbelievable amounts. Like, my favorite thing we have in our entire house is we have these two crosses that are about this high that we got around the time that my brother passed away that are just covered in scripture and encouragement and all sorts of things from not only the faculty, but from my sixth grade peers. Now, to have sixth grade peers put together something like that, I feel like that is, that is truly the love of God embodied in a student body. So that is just unbelievable. So naturally, like growing up and getting into high school, since Legacy had given so much love to me, I wanted to find ways to give back. And Legacy was the perfect facet of opportunity to, to be able to do that. Uh, in high school, I did drama. I was involved in all the plays and all that stuff. Football, basketball, track student council, all these different things. And in all those things, I not only got to witness the further love of Christ in the, as embodied in my coaches, my teachers, and my peers, but I also got to see the leadership of Christ in them too. And I'll be equipped with that for the rest of my life. And not only that, but the academic rigor that came from being at Legacy. Like, uh, it's bittersweet to be leading Legacy, but in the fall, I'll be headed off to uh, Texas A&M University to study... <laughs> to study uh, computer science-based engineering. So, And normally something like engineering might really scare somebody, but I know that through the college preparatory experience that I will be ready with a sound foundation to be able to go off and to succeed and also to be able to carry that Christian leadership, that Christian character to a secular environment and to be able to emulate that to people all over. That is just truly exciting. So if you're here and you've donated or just being here in general, to give that opportunity to someone else to have the experience that I had, words cannot put how amazing that is. Just, you can't put a price on that. So I hope you all have fun today and thank you so much for everything you've done. Thank you, thank you Patrick.